Welcome back to Into the Radius. This is the Steam version, played on an Oculus Quest 2 through virtual reality desktop. We've got ourselves equipped, and we're ready to take on a mission and head into the zone. Before we get started, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so that'd be much appreciated. Like, share, leave a comment, love to hear your feedback. Tips and tricks, also appreciated. Let's get into it. If you're not familiar with this game, it's based on a Russian sci-fi novel written in the 70s, 1971, entitled Roadside Picnic. There's also a movie from the 70s entitled Stalker, I believe, that's also uh, based on the book. So you can check those out. There's a link to the novel in the description. Uh, we were advised, somebody commented, that uh, we should consider picking up some ammo from the store because there's not a lot of ammo available in the zone. So let's at least see what ammo costs. We've got a headlamp, knapsack, we don't need any of this other stuff. I don't even know what that is. Alright, let's see here. Uh, 9 by 18 millimeter weapon 125 for a box of ammo well, that's pretty harsh but um, I think we could afford at least one box so plus buy hopefully we won't use much ammo we'll go for um, Oh, not that. Try to use our knife instead. Well, 25 is better than 3, so that's good. And we have one knife on our chest, one knife on our arm. Three magazines for our PM shotgun, although I'm trying to get the backpack most of the time there. I thought we were bringing another pistol along. Maybe we'll do that. And we'll just go pick up a mission and then we'll head into the void. Sorry, not the void, the zone. Maybe it's a void. Not quite sure. Alright. So, let's take along our Tokarev with a, with a magazine. Okay, I gotta stop grabbing my... Uh, Shotgun somehow. I mean we do have the shotgun, so we're pretty loaded as far as weapons. So let's see missions available So we have one artifact run that wants a steps Bring us back new steps samples and what's this one? This is night eye samples At the indicated location. Oh, so these are two they're gonna give us locations So can we do two at once? Okay. No, we can't. So, let's head out. And... Is it going to give us a location? Mission? We don't have a map until we're out there. Alright, well, let's head out then. I haven't actually exited the base before. What time is it? Oh, it just opens up. 1557. Four hours. That's not going to give us a lot of daytime. But maybe we'll head towards that cabin and we'll have a sleep. I think it's a four hour gap. When we head through the uh, mist here. But let's see. So 1600 hours. That would take us to... Uh, 20. 8 o'clock. So that's fun. Is that our map? We're not supposed to use our flashlight, but...
So we just started at the bottom, so... Okay, I see. So that's, I think the triangle's our cabin. We can head along the road. I know where those anomalies are. But it really sucks that, um... It's already night. So if we head this way, we're going to end up at the road. I think we'll... That's not a knife. Where did that come from? Keep our knife handy. Just in case. Don't want to go straight to using ammo if we don't have to. I don't know how much the zone changes each time we enter. It wasn't that long ago we were here. I don't know about respawns. You know what, we'll hold our flashlight in the other hand. And we'll try to make it up the road uh, to that cabin and maybe rest till morning and then go for the artifact. Heard something. Not seeing any movement. I don't know, heard it again. Still no movement. Just take it slow. Not seeing anything. Maybe it's just our legs rustling. Some restless leg syndrome. There's an anomaly over there. We're making our way. This looks like the entrance to the supply depot. You know what? Let's, uh, let's get low while we go across here. I don't know if the fragments in the supply depot respawn. We got time. We're just chilling. That doesn't seem like the cabin up there. It seems like that we kind of run into a shack before we get to the cabin. The shack's at the top of a hill. Just hearing kind of windy noises. I think we're... Are we past the entrance to the supply depot? I think we are, so let's let's stand up. We've got an anomaly there. Let's see what our map says as far as how close we are. Um Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't show us as an indicator. Okay. I thought we'd get our location, but uh, there's realism for you. What is that noise? Heard some footsteps. Okay, let's try to make it to the cabin. And, uh... We'll come back out in the morning. Oh, there's the entrance to the... Supply Depot. So we've got an anomaly there. We can skirt around. Oh, 
Oh, I was gonna say that sounds like one of them squirmy things. That's not what we want. We want our flashlight. Whoa. That was a fragment. I think we stabbed those. Anybody else? What's our health like? Not too bad. Put the knife away. Get our detector out. We didn't get one for the spawn. Okay. Got our knife back. All right. Get our flashlight back out. Turn that off, I guess, and we'll keep going. I mean, we should go back to our this thing, I guess, right? Oh, there is one there. Oh, wow, how that got missed. Doesn't end up where they where they die exactly, maybe. Oh. On our flashlight, it is dark out. So let's give that the wide berth. There's the little shack. There's the cabin. Should be just over here, I believe. I suppose we could lay down in there. It's not as cozy as the cabin. I'm not entirely sure I could make it to the cabin in, in the dark here. Don't necessarily want to use a flashlight too much. So that seems like the waterway. So the cabin was just kind of around to the left of here. We gotta kinda go around through the forest here. Yeah, there's a time distortion anomaly that I ended up in. Don't really want to head through the forest. Maybe that's the top of the cabin I'm seeing. Let's go up to the top of this hill. Maybe we can see it. That looks like it over there. But honestly, I gotta turn on the flashlight a bit because I can't see anything. And it's going to attract. So we got to go up here and around. Let's turn that off again. That's another distortion or anomaly over there. Don't want to... This doesn't look too familiar. Okay, we got to go up around here and then duck in. think what is that this is where the cabin is so there was a nasty noise there so I'm just gonna kind of give a little sprint in here check our back not seeing anybody What is that? Seems like something's floating over there. Okay. Anybody in our cozy little cabin? Looks clear. Oh, 
All right, not too bad. So let's have a rest. So we want to wake up. I'm assuming that's sunrise. And that is sunset, although nighttime. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this would be sunrise. So let's do that. Wake up punch seven. Oh, they're just short. That's as good that they show you that. So let's have a little rest. All right. Now that looks more inviting. Let's get to it. Ah, another glorious day in the zone. Oh, where did I get that from? How did I grab that off my... That's quite a trick. Somehow I grabbed that off the same arm. So, that's the entrance. So it is at the top of that hill, I think, right? Those concentric things. And that's where that... So just to the north of that... Um, that shed at the top of the hill is where this is supposed to be. So let's check our mission. Bring back one steps artifact. There should be some at the indicated location. Keep forgetting I have to, do I have to click it? No. Yeah, so let's head over there. And um, yeah, we're doing all right. Don't need our flashlight this time. We'll just keep our knife handy. We could head that way back through the um, back through the swamp. Oh, see, there was a quicker way over here. We just couldn't see it in the dark. Yeah, so just up on that hill is where we're going. Oh, maybe this isn't a quicker way. <laughs> yeah, we didn't see that in the dark. We gotta go around there, which is what we did last time when we avoided all this, which seems like the right thing. Oh, look at that. We found some sort of stash. We'll take that. Uh, do I have to get a tape? Um, do I have to, like, flashlight this stuff away? No, it's just grass. But my triggers don't seem to be working. Kind of glitching out a bit. Okay, let's open that. All right, it is working. We'll listen to that back at the back at the base. Knife and something else there. Ooh, much appreciated. I don't think there's anything else. Okay, nice little bonus find. Try to try to move at a steady pace. So yeah, can't get around there. Go down here and up. This is keep an eye out. There's a distortion there, or anomaly, I should say. This thing is not detecting. Okay. Grass. We feel like the concentric. So there's, there's one peak. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I got too close to that. There's one peak here on grass, and then another peak. So we're we are looking at the other side of the road, right? So we just have to cross the road, which is that there. So we're on the we're on the right side here. I know there was this time distortion anomaly that we haven't really learned anything about over here. And maybe there's an artifact in there that we missed last time. We are getting a reading, aren't we? But I don't really want to I don't really want to step inside that again. <laughs> yeah, 
it is inside there, eh? See if we can see it before we go in. Okay. So is that it or is that just a core? Last time we went in there we got attacked. So I'm gonna go with the pistol and we'll sprint in, grab it. And we'll sprint out. Oh, here they come. Are they toast now? I think so. Yeah, they just come running. Which, uh... So, was one of those a steps artifact? Doesn't seem like it. Or did we drop whatever the artifact was that we picked up because those guys came running? We did have it in our hand. I think I must have dropped it. What is this? Spawn core. Yeah, this is another, it's another spawn core. Picked those up before. That's a fragment core. I don't see the other artifact. So what's the deal here? It came out over on right here. And we had it in the one hand. We went for our pistol about here. We're not getting a reading anymore. So I would assume that we have it, but uh, it's not a steps core apparently, or a steps artifact, so we gotta keep looking. All right, we're not going in there again. Health is still doing all right. That's a bit confusing, did we? I thought we picked up a uh, fragment core already and a spawn core, but it's looking like not. We just have the two spawns and a fragment. So that wasn't it. I mean, that makes sense because it was indicating the top of the hill for where the fragment or the, the steps core is supposed to be, maybe by this... Train. Let's get our our knife out again. There's another distortion there. Should be right in the middle here. I mean, this thing is not lighting up at all. Ooh. Keep an eye out for fragments and such. I don't see anybody approaching. No, you know, it's always grabbing my backpack. Just wanted my uh, detector here. That's the road, so it should be right on the top of this hill. But again, I'm not getting any reading. Well, that's an interesting anomaly. Yeah, that gave us a little bit of warning. That's another pistol. Did we miss that before? Anything else in here? Is that food? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I thought this thing would just start beeping when we got close to an artifact. Not 
check over by this train. What time is it? Unless something goes sideways, we still got some time. I saw a little flash of black down there. So. Oh. Some sort of reading over here. That one's gonna. pop open, I think. It is saying over here. Let's try circling around instead of heading straight for it. We'll try it from this, the other side. Okay, that one expanded. We're not we're getting a reading from this side? We are. Yeah, definitely this direction. What do you do when it's in an anomaly? You kind of get between these two. Okay. Okay, let's get out of here. Although, I hear something else. Let's just back off in case that attracted anybody. I don't see anything coming. Steps. So that's what we came for. Ooh, but the detector seemed to go off again. So let's put that in there. And we'll head back in. I just want to make sure no, we weren't getting rushed by a fragment. I see a spawn in the distance over there. But that's way off. I think we're okay. Unless it's making a beeline for us. <laughs> what happened? Did I just throw my shotgun? Let's check. Backpack's still there. Okay. I'm having some issues. Why are my slots not lighting up? Okay. There's a shotgun, so we do have everything. Okay. Let's just make sure that spawn was not making its way over. No. Okay, and I was just trying to grab the detector, so I don't actually have to get that close to my chest, which is... I end up grabbing the shotgun from behind me and weird stuff like that if I reach too close to my chest. That's what you're seeing. So, we got something else. Seems like it got weaker there. Oh, this way. Okay. This way. Okay, we can get between these. Anything? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Anybody coming? Nope. That's two. I didn't hear any other beeps. So I think we can head back to base. Turn this mission in. Okay, there's one right there. It's gonna widen up. Just make sure nobody's coming. There. Get that in there and then we'll uh we'll hightail it back to um back to base. while it's still daytime. Maybe we could um, just take a peek in the supply depot now that we're, you know, now that it's daytime and uh, if there's a fragment or two, maybe we could pick up some more cores, practice our knife throwing. Whoa, what's that cross in the distance? So this anomaly wasn't on the road before. It wasn't expanded like that. I think we would have walked right into it at night. What's the time like? 
Time keeps on ticking. So there's the spawn we already took care of, but didn't have a didn't have a core. Or or it did. So I thought we yeah. I thought we hit a fragment here as well. Not seeing anybody. Or anything. Let's see. I don't see any movement. You know, if there's a bunch of them, we might not be able to handle them with just the knife. Just the knife. Okay. I don't know if I missed this stuff or if it if it's new. But I'm not gonna turn it down. A lot of rusty guns. deserted again. Oh, there's a couple. Are they heading this way? They're just hanging out. Don't want to attract too many. Last time we kind of got a whole lineup of them coming at us. I don't want to get flanked either. Let's see if we can funnel these two just through here. All right. We're just hanging out. Any more? Just the one. And the other one. I don't understand how some of this works. Oh, okay. I don't see any more at the moment. Oh, there's one. Somebody coming up behind us? No. Okay, we'll put that back. I only see the one. Man, they were super alert the first time I came through here. Now they're just 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 hanging out, chilling. Okay. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. Uh, can I get that back? Man, you really gotta watch the, uh... Really gotta watch when you move your hand holding the knife, because it just, uh... They just fly out, but... Definitely don't want to lose those knives. So... One of them... Also, don't want those guys sneaking up on me. Okay. One seemed like it went over here. Well, let's try to get the other one first, which... I guess we have to go in there now. One may have gone this way. Chasing after my knives. Just kind of doing blind grabs here in case it's in the terrain. We do have a knife in our in our pack as a backup. There's one. So that's good. The other one end up in here. No, let's just, uh, I'm not going to spend too much time, but I definitely don't want to lose the knife. So, let's see, we 
got a core out of it at least. Still nobody else around here. I thought it like hit this corner. We were standing here. Let's recreate. So if we threw it. Might have hit this truck. There's a bit of a ladder. Maybe we can get up on top. But it seems like this knife m might be gone into this uh, terrain here. We may never know. Maybe we can make some shadow puppets. Seems unlikely that it would have gone this far, but they can ricochet and stuff like that too. There's a tape. Bullet. Is it getting dark? Definitely don't want to stay past dark for this knife. Just doing some blind grabs around. Oh, well, we got a core out of it, I guess. That's something. Knives can't be too expensive, hopefully. What was that? Well, that's just my pistol. All right, let's head back. It's not worth uh, getting caught after dark for a single knife. So I'm sure we'll lose quite a few over the course of the game. So let's turn off the flashlight. Hopefully we won't need it. Oh, there is another fragment. Just meandering along the road. Are you alone? getting a core out of him it would seem or her I saw something over there the fragments are pretty easy when they're, they're just slow the spawns get a bit tricky run into worse as the game progresses. Huh. Only seven o'clock or so. Seems to get dark pretty early in the in the zone. Just gonna follow the road this time. See where it puts us on the other side. Instead of having to go into the into the bushes every time. Also, I'm not sure how uh, how strict the mission timers are. Like, I didn't really check to see how long that was giving us to accomplish this mission. go. Equipment can be repaired in the shop. Not if we throw it and can't find it, it can't. But we'll start a shelf of uh, weapons that need to be repaired. So that's good, it just dumps us right in front of our base anyway. So we could use a rest, which we're going to get. Everything else is uh, 
about what we'd expect. Ah, <sighs> good to be back. So I guess first thing we should do is go turn in the mission. Could use a couple more lights in this place. Okay. Bring back one steps artifact. So that's what these are, right? Does this have a condition? Vibrates periodically. If you say so. No, let's grab the other one. Let's so see if one of them's in worse condition. No, the same. So let's toss that in there. Close that up. And we got cha-ching. Okay. Um, we'll deal with the repairs. But once we've kind of taken our inventory, but we got the mission taken care of. I think the next one is for a different artifact. So... We're going to have to go back out to complete the next mission, which, jeez, yeah, time passed. So now we're looking at 11 o'clock. So the thing is, if we go back out right away, well, if we sleep till rested, then um, when we go through into the zone, it'll be it'll be morning. So, I mean, that's a good time to, uh, to head out. So these are all kind of decaying. Um, you can sell them, but if a mission comes up for them, then you can also use them for that instead of having to go out. Is this where we no, this is where we put our food? I thought and we did our two energy drinks used to be up there. Okay, so that looks like another PM magazine. This is our what is that? Just a beat up Tokarev, yeah. We'll put that up there. Oh yeah, no magazine in there. It's another another core. That's a beat up PM. No magazine. That's uh looks like the Tokarev magazine. Okay, that's our Jay, I think these are empty. Come on, work with me. And what's this one? That's another rusty Tokarev. So we can probably sell all these that we don't want. That's our, you know what? We'll leave this in here because it's our backup. Oops. Uh, we'll have to start a collection of tapes to play. Got another knife there, so that's good. We got we got lots of knives. You know, we'll just put tapes here with all the cores. Um, that one's staying in there. Another core. That's our full box of ammo. We'll leave that in there. Buckshot. You know, buckshot will just. Even though there's no sense. I don't think we're going to be reloading that too much. We'll leave an energy drink in there. Okay, so someone told me uh, the energy drinks, they don't uh, raise your stamina. They they uh, alleviate your, they're akin to sleep, I guess. So you should bring some food as well as uh, energy drinks. They wake you up, so to speak. So, okay, so that looks good. We'll just take one energy drink then. And, uh, and one bar. And we've got our pistol there, which we should just, um, you know, refresh the magazine on. These are all empty boxes, so we'll have to keep that in mind. We're not as uh, stacked as we'd like. Um, so actually, let's... Uh, Empty that one. Is that it? All right. So that's full. Back in. And then I think this one's full. 
Yeah. So we'll just leave that empty one there and we'll actually fill up a box. No sense in having a magazine that, you know, likes to stand them up. There we go. All right. So we've got one knife. Pick up another knife. There's our second knife. What happened to our flashlight? Did we lose our flashlight along the way? One of our flashlights at least? That's unfortunate. Let's check our pack. We did. We must have dropped our flashlight. Huh. That's unfortunate. I do remember something sounding like it hit something steel. So there we got another flashlight. Sensor. All right. I think that's everything. I will call that a part. Probably sleep till we're rested and see if that's enough time to get out for this next mission. This is uh, Into the Radius. Playing on an Oculus Quest 2 through Virtual Reality Desktop. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe like share leave a comment I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so all that good stuff would be much appreciated if you enjoy the content thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time